Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Gemini. This is going to be for your July 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What are they not telling you? What are they, what are they hiding from you? Uh, so um, this could be someone that you're already dealing with, was dealing with, currently dealing with, new past person. So yeah, so uh, we're going to take a look and see what this person's hiding from you, what they're not telling you, and then we'll, fin we'll finish off the read to see if this person will come clean towards you or if you will find that on your own. Um, what else you guys need to know? So just apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Gemini people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do post readings on there too, okay? So, Gemini. Tell me about the person that Gemini is thinking of or dealing with. What is this person hiding from Gemini? What is this person hiding from Gemini? For July 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. And like I said, apply this to your own situation, your own timeline. This could be someone new. This could be someone old. This could be someone current here. Also, this could be a family or friend, you know. Three of Cups here and the Eight of Swords. Hmm. I almost get the sense that someone here feels like they're um, paranoid, that there's something going on behind their back, and they feel like there is. Like if, if I like, I feel like you know that maybe this person's seen other people talking to other people here, but this person's not telling you about it. You know, let's see. We have the Nine of Pentacles here and the Four of Wands. Or this could be indication that you might be separated from this individual here and or, you know, or that you're at discord with this, this individual or that you guys haven't been in communication much. But it could be an indication that this person fears losing you or that they want to reconcile here with you. They want to work things out here with you with a nine of pentacles and the four of wands. So I feel like this person wants to take things really far here with you. Seems like they're in some sort of regret here. Yeah, so someone here did something here. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this person did, but maybe this person was in some sort of fear consciousness, okay? And I feel like maybe this person was testing you, testing you to see if you truly wanted to be with them. But whatever test that they try to test you in, I feel like that test backfired. You, you know what I mean? Uh, we have the Emperor here and the King of Swords here and the Death card, Scorpio energy. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person wants to come in and talk to you here. You know, I feel like if things ended here, if you guys separated, you know, I just feel like they don't want this to end. They don't want this to end here. Let's see what else we have. Scorpio energy here with the death card. Time of the four of wands. Why is the four of wands here and the nine of wands here? Yeah, whoever this is, I, I you know, I, I feel like one of the things that really get the best of this person is that this person gets really paranoid. I feel like this is this person's paranoid, wondering if you are loyal to them, wondering if you're doing something behind their back, you know? And I feel like instead of being direct, forward and honest, it, it, like, hey, Gemini, I just wanted to know, are you seeing other people? Are you dating other people? Because I'm, you know, my spidey senses are tingling. I just want to know. But this person's definitely doing some shady stuff. This person's like testing you. Yeah, testing you to see if you truly want them. And like I said, this test that they was testing when and it backfired. Yeah, it backfired here. We have the Knight of Swords and the Two of Swords here and the Five of Cups and the uh, Five of Wands here. There's definitely some sort of discord here. There's definitely some sort of conflict here. Yeah, and I feel like what's happening, I feel like this person wants to come in to explain to you what happened or why they did this, you know? I just feel like this person really fears losing you. I, I, I'm getting that this person's a, a, little, a little bit codependent. Yeah, I, I'm just getting that, you know, when this person is away from you, after a really great day, after like hanging out, you know, and you guys had a fun time, this person tends to spiral and think, think, think the worst here. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. Will this person come clean towards Gemini? I feel like this person will. 
Uh, will this person come clean towards Gemini? What else does Gemini need to know? Look out for or work on here for July 2023 for Gemini. Gemini. Oh, we have the King of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, and the Wheel of Fortune here. You know, I, I, I feel like uh, perhaps if you did separate from this person, if you did break up with this person because of what they did here, I do feel like this person is going to put in some effort to make some change and learn their lessons here. Yeah, uh, I, I do feel like this person might realize that, okay, I need to work on myself here. You know what I mean? I need to do the work here so that I don't get paranoid and think the worst here. I, because I feel like this person assumes the worst. Yeah, I, I, they think that as soon as you separate from them after hanging out, you go you go off where you, you need to go, and this person goes off where they need to go. They think that you're hanging out and sleeping around with other people or something like that, or dating other people, okay? We have a Ten of Wands here and a Three of Wands. This person does have a lot of baggage. Yeah, it stems from a lot of the baggage that they haven't really healed from yet, and I feel like that's why this person was doing this or was behaving like this here, Gemini. Okay, we have the tower here, Aries, Scorpio, Energy, and the Six of Cups. Yeah, this person is realizing, they're realizing that there's something from the past that they're holding on to that they're not letting go. And, and, and this is a recipe for what happened here. This is a recipe for what happened here. The, uh, the tower, Aries, Scorpio, Energy. Um, the King of Wands here, the Page of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune here, and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, this person will provide you with clarity. Yeah, this person will provide you with clarity. I do feel like this person has a pattern and a history of doing this. Yeah. So I feel like this person tends to mess, mess things up because of all the pain and all the hurt that they're still holding on to that they haven't healed from yet. The Ten of Wands. We have the Sun, Leo Energy, the Three of Wands here, and the Justice card. Seems like this person's definitely learning some huge lessons here. I also feel like because this person has done this for so long, they ac accumulated and inflicted karma on themselves and I feel like this person's kind of like paying for it. They're paying for it by you leaving them, you know what I mean? Because they've ruined something really great here because of their fears, their insecurities here, their their, their traumas. Uh, the tower here, we have the four of swords, tell me, tell me the six of cups here and the six of wands. I feel like this person needs to make peace with their past here. Yeah, they need to let it go, heal from it, move on from it. Yeah, handle the triggers here a lot better because I feel like it's almost like this per person has pretended like all this hasn't happened here. But yeah, this person will tell you. This person will tell you uh, why they behave the way that they did here. They will provide you clarity here, okay? So Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.